morning, children of God. I want to encourage you this morning that your weeping is not in vain. Don't think that God does not see your anguish. Don't think that God does not see you um, going through what you are going through right now. Don't think that God does not care about your situation. He cares about your situation. God cares about your sleepless night. God cares about that disease, that, that sickness. God cares about that lack. God, God cares about that loss, loss of loved ones. God cares about every trouble that we face as his children you know in the book of john chapter 11 verse 33 the bible says that when jesus i'm paraphrasing here the bible says that when jesus saw how moved people were about the death of lazarus how they were crying and how mary was crying and now everybody was so sorrowed about the death of lazarus the bible says the nlt says that something welled up anger welled up inside of jesus and he said where did you lay him and you know the bible says in that chapter in verse 35 says Jesus wept. Jesus was moved by, was moved with compassion because of the people around him that were crying. They were mourning. They were crying over the death of Lazarus. I don't know what you're crying about today. I don't know what you are going through right now. I don't know what your situation is right now, but I want to encourage you and let you know that Jesus cares about what you are going through. Jesus cares about your sleepless night. Jesus cares about your suffering. Jesus cares about your heartache. Do not give up on him. Allow him to heal you. Welcome him into your heart. Welcome him into your family. Welcome him into that situation as Mary and Martha did. And Jesus raise Lazarus from the dead. Jesus wants to raise you from where you are. Jesus wants to bring you out of that situation. Jesus wants to want, want, want a smile on your face. He wants to heal your body. He wants to change your situation, but you got to invite him in. Because the Bible says he knows the hand from the beginning and he knows the beginning from the hand. He knows everything about you. So as you go out today, I want you to go out in faith, knowing that God is in control of your life. Knowing that Jesus cares for you. He's a compassionate God. He's a compassionate Father. So do not allow any, anything to distract you from that knowledge today. Do not allow anything to, 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 to distract you or to lessen your faith in who God is. So I pray for you today as you head out today that you will, add, you, you will go out in the power and the strength of the Lord knowing that God knows everything about you and is, he, he is in control of your life. I pray that you will be able to cast all your cares onto him today. That you will welcome him into your life, into your children's life, into your family, into your situation, into that lack, into that sickness, into that worry, into that heartache. And you'll be able to, I pray that the Holy Spirit will help, will help you today to release everything onto him who is able to take care of you, who is able to change your situ situation around, who is able to rebuke the end of the enemy over your life, over your family, over your finances, over your mind in the name of Jesus I pray that today you will experience the peace and the love of God even in your dire situation right now in the name of Jesus that you will be able to look up onto the hills where cometh your help that your help comes from the Lord the maker of heaven and earth I pray that today will be a blessed day for you I pray that you will experience God all around you in the name of Jesus we experience the peace of God more, more than ever before in the name of Jesus I pray that the Lord God will bless your coming in and your go going out today in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord God Almighty will smile upon you in the name of Jesus. I thank God for you and I thank God for what God is doing in your life. Remember today is the day that the Lord has made. Be glad and rejoice in it. Have a wonderful and God-filled day today. Amen.